It's time for us to honor one of Central Indiana's top teachers. It is our Golden Apple Award. We show up to school with cameras rolling, $500, and a trophy to hand out, all based on nominations from the people who know the teachers best. Brenna Donnelly is here. This month's surprise included a, a soundtrack for the first time. You got it. We are so excited to surprise a real music man, Mr. Sean Gilliland, choir director at Eastern Hancock Schools. But I've got to say, his students were even more eager to surprise him. They said he's really struck a chord with the entire school district. I'm really excited. <laughs> it's not the first time someone in this auditorium has been on the edge of their seat. <laughs> I think that he deserves it because he is so inspirational. They want to shine the spotlight on the man usually just seen from behind. He's one of my biggest role models. He helps us feel the words we sing. He has boosted up my confidence. He is just an amazing person and an even better teacher, and I couldn't ask for a better choir director. Mr. Sean Gilliland has a unique job. He's the choir director at Eastern Hancock, not just high school, but all 12 grades. The middle school, the elementary, like he affects all portions. They say they feel like his kids, even enduring some dad humor. He's really funny. He makes a lot of jokes. Um, some of them aren't really that funny, but they're like funny, like when he was young. So we all just laugh and play along with those as well. But with any good performance, it's the behind the scenes story that captures your heart. He just like had scars that we asked about. He had surgery on his throat um, right next to his vocal cords. So he wasn't able to sing. And then he got into a really bad car accident last year. But I, I think he loves singing that he's not going to quit. He's not going to let cancer stop him. <laughs> <laughs> he's amazing. He's he's just amazing. And then I'll come back in with so you. So we set up our own kind of surprise symphony. Are you ready? Surprise. Surprise. Mr. D, can we bother you for a minute? I'm Brenna Donnelly from Wish TV. What? You have won our Golden Apple Award. And I did what to deserve such an honor? <laughs> oh, we'll show you. It's our, it's our way of honoring fantastic teachers in central Indiana. And you were nominated by your students, those ones. Really? <laughs> <laughs> it involves more than just a big classroom surprise, though. Bailey Wood from Bailey and Wood Mortgage Lender is here to tell you what you won with this. Congratulations. So we actually have a great Golden Apple Trophy for you. A so you can always Apple remember trophy. this. Yeah, and okay. then we actually have Miss Diane and here, and you get a $500 <laughs> check. Big old, yeah, to for the you. the school, right? No, for you. <laughs> <laughs> you sure this isn't for the school? It's, for the music department? It, it's for you. Really? Yes. Nobody's we, pulling my leg here. <laughs> no. It's not April Fool's Day. How are you feeling right now? Uh, surprise, weird. Weird? <laughs> <laughs> Freaked if you, out. If you can handle it, we have another surprise for you. Uh -oh. This one you can't put a dollar amount on. We okay. were in here interviewing some of your students earlier, and we have a video to show you. Uh oh. Is that okay? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> 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 to me, Mr. G is so much more than just a choir teacher. He is hands down the most devoted and strongest person I know. You walk into the choir room and you just have this positive vibe. You don't you never have a negative vibe because you're always singing. And he told us that he had surgery and he told us that he wasn't able to sing. He's not gonna let cancer stop him. It just shows how much he cares. He's always smiling. Always. I mean, he's always taught me to believe in myself and never get down on myself. He just made me feel like so welcomed and happy. He's just amazing. Well, thank you, students. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling watching all that? Yeah, a little touch. <laughs> a little touch? <laughs> yeah. A little shocked. It's not good for a choir director to be di diagnosed with tonsil cancer. And in 2009, I was. And had to miss school and never knew if I was going to sing again. That was scary. But I'm here. Do I still sing? Yeah. Every day. OK. <laughs> And you're, you're really happy when they succeed because you think deep down, eh, maybe a little bit, mm. you might have had an impact. 
And I think that's every teacher's dream. And the soundtrack to that dream? One, two, three, one, ready, and. <laughs> Mr. G's favorite carol. Music to his ears. And Mr. Gilliland says he'll keep on teaching as long as his health and his students allow. He's been at it since 1982, and we wish him the best. I'll be honest, I'd never thought of a thing like tonsil cancer until he said that, much less for somebody who sings. It is very rare. It surprised me too. He said he was actually really lucky uh, because it was just in one of his two tonsils and when doctors removed it, they said it didn't come back. So he's still singing today. Special story, special teacher, <laughs> and we know there are so many out there, and I know you're looking for some more nominations, too. We already are. We award this award every single month, so we're already looking for December. Just go to wishtv.com slash golden apple and nominate a teacher in your life, and be sure to tell us why your teacher deserves the golden apple award. We love a good story. And a good song to sort of yes. ring through our ears for the rest Merry of the day, Christmas, too. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We appreciate it, Brenna. It is 739.